So SEC 566, which is the critical controls course, the really cool thing about it is it's, a, it's an architecture course. So you can take the skills that you've learned, uh, the hacking skills, all the technical skills, and now you get to build an, a defensible uh, architecture out of it. And so the critical controls address 20 individual uh, items, uh, threats, and how to defend against it. And the whole course teaches you how to put the whole package together so that you have sort of a, a, a plan to implement a security control architecture. The thing I really love about teaching 566 is I never walk away from, from, uh, from a course like that without having a, about a page and a half of notes and ideas that I got from the students. Um, the, the guys back in my staff and back in the office, they always kid me. They said, yeah, we know when you're teaching the course because you're always sending us uh, emails that night going, hey, I just found out about this or I found out about that. So the best thing about it is, is the two-way interface between the student and, and myself. And I, you know, I hope I give them examples of how to do stuff, but they certainly have given me lots of words and, and examples to, to try back when I get back to the office. Uh, I think the students should take the 566 class, or uh, the ones that are supposed to do that. Uh, basically, is you've been tasked with designing a plan to implement a security architecture and a defensive security architecture, and also to uh, basically figure out a way to take a high level standard like an ISO 27002 and get it down to the rubber meets the road where you're, you have actual commands to configure systems and networks and things like that. The key takeaways to the course, number one, the first control is inventory of hardware devices and everybody thinks, oh, I've got that down. Uh, and when you start look, digging into the details, like are you using DHCP or port address translation or network address translation, or now with IoT devices connecting to your net, they, they get a sense of, man, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. They, they think, you know, I've got everything down, but now, wait a minute, I've got to worry about a thermostat. I have to worry about these other devices. So the key takeaway from that, I think, is figuring out what's on your network. And then, once you figure that out, how do I organize uh, uh, an architecture to defend those assets? <laughs>